So there are two parts of the exception mechanism, raising exceptions and then handling them. Let's first talk about raising exceptions. So the easiest way to raise an exception is with an assert statement, and we've seen these throughout the course. So assert statements raise a particular kind of exception called an assertion error. So I say assert, I give some expression. If that expression is not a true value, but a false value, then an assertion error is created using the string as an argument, and that's what gets raised. So assertions are designed to be used liberally all over your program. If once you've decided that your program needs to run a little bit faster and assertions are slowing you down, you can turn them all off. So you can ignore all assertions in order to increase efficiency by running Python with the dash O flag where O stands for optimized. So if you just run Python 3 dash O, that means none of your assert statements are going to be executed. You can always tell whether assertions are enabled or not by a bool with a special name debug and um, we can try this out. Okay, so we'll start up Python 3, and we'll assert false error. And what happened there was that we raised an assertion error. So now we know this is the class of the exception that was raised. And then following the colon is the message associated with the exception. Uh, and assert true has no effect. Now if instead I run Python with the dash O, then I'll notice that debug is a false value, and if I assert false error, nothing will happen at all. Before, in normal Python, I saw an assertion error raised, but now I've turned off assertion. Now you can also raise any kind of exception, not just an assertion error, with a raise statement. So exceptions are raised with a raise statement that says raise expression, if you want to attach some sort of message to that error that you're raising, you have to do it by making it a part of the exception instance that you raise. So expression must evaluate to a subclass of the base exception, which is the base class for all exceptions in Python. So we can put a class there or we can put an instance of one. And exceptions are constructed like any other object. So for instance, if I wanted to put a type error that says I've passed in a bad argument, then I would raise type error and pass in a message because that's what type errors take on construction. Now, there are some built-in different classes of errors. A type error is something that's meant to indicate that a function was passed the wrong number or type of argument. A name error means that a name wasn't found when it was looked up in the current environment. A key error means that a key wasn't found in a dictionary. And a runtime error indicates that something else bad happened. So it was just a catch-all for troubles that happened during interpretation, raised by the interpreter. Okay, let's see a few of these in action. So I can raise a type error that says bad argument. And what happens when I do that is that I get a stack trace, that's what this part is called, where it says what line uh, different things happen. Um, and then it says the name of the class that I created, the type error, and it says bad argument, which is the same kind of thing that you get if you pass in a string into the absolute value. This says type error again. And this has a more descriptive message, because the more descriptive an error message you can give, the easier it is for your user to understand what went wrong. So that's a type error. There is a name error. Hello is not defined. Um, what else? We were interested in having a key error. So if I look up hello in the empty dictionary, then it will tell me there's a key error. And what about a runtime error? Well, let's define a function that calls itself. Since I don't have a base case, this will run forever. And at the bottom here, it says maximum recursion depth exceeded and that is a runtime error. 